Welcome everyone to today's coffee lecture powered by ETH Library. On the occasion of the 10th series of this coffee lecture, we even offer a piece of cake. I hope you have your coffee ready. And today I will focus on the topic of the data stewardship network at ETH Zurich. My name is Julian de Derke and I'm working at the ETH Library as a consultant for research data management. Today, you'll get the chance to find out all about the data stewardship network at ETH Zurich and also dis to discover how you can get involved or how someone you know could get involved if they are interested. Perhaps you know a person in your research group or in a neighboring research group that has one of the following roles. There might be someone who is an expert for metadata standards in biochemistry, or perhaps there is someone who takes care of the data publication process in his lab. Or on the other hand, there could even be a person who is developing a data management strategy on the department level. There could also be someone who is optimizing the open science workflows in their research groups. And all these people are somehow united in their activities, not necessarily in their subjects, in their research fields, but they are working in a wider sense on topics related to research data management. And that is why recently we have decided to launch the Data Stewardship Network at ETH Zurich that only started now in January 2023. The idea is to connect all these people that have similar responsibilities related to research data management and data stewardship and to allow them to network with one another to get to know their workflows, their ideas, and also perhaps talk about the challenges they have with those different um, responsibilities they have, usually beyond their uh, immediate research activities. So if we talk about the data stewardship network, the question is, of course, what is it actually we are talking about? What is data stewardship? To provide some background information, um, I would like to point out that Swiss universities, so the community of higher education institutions in Switzerland, as well as the ETH domain, currently have launched large funding programs on open research data. And one of the goals of these funding programs is to establish data stewardship at universities and higher education institutions in Switzerland. Data stewardship or also to establish professionals in open research data handling. If we want to define what a data steward is, a very straightforward and simple definition could be that a data steward is basically a person who deals with the management of research data that are not primarily produced by her or himself. So it goes beyond the individual project of a single researcher. And it is usually a person who takes care of other researchers' research data as well. And this could include, for example, uh, research data management, but also reproducible data analysis, but it could also include structured code writing and software engineering and similar tasks that are related to research data management or open research data. And the idea is to connect these people who have similar responsibilities that the data stewardship network is supposed to be a community network of scientists and support professionals with responsibilities in research data management, or perhaps they even have an explicit role as a data steward, data manager, or as a software engineer. And it could also be people with similar tasks at ETH Zurich. We do know that there are quite a lot of people who have similar responsibilities, but they have quite diverse roles at the moment. Sometimes they are postdocs, sometimes they are senior researchers, sometimes they are lab managers, or it is someone who is perhaps a scientific coordinator in their research group or a funded project. So the next question would be, of course, what do we want to achieve with this network? And ideally, we want to do so together with you if you're interested and in, if you have such a role as a data steward or a related role. With the network, we want to achieve to allow 
local research data management experts and supporters in research data management to connect with one another, independent of whether they are working on the department level, on the research group level, or in various labs. We also want to connect the data stewards at ETH Zurich with the central support units at ETH Zurich, which is on the one hand us at the ETH library, but then also our colleagues at the scientific IT services. And along the data lifecycle that you can see here, there's already quite a lot of solutions available. Um, and we offer a lot of services that address the data lifecycle and research data management. And this is, of course, something that we want to um, provide to the data stewards as well. And we want to connect with the data stewards. Um, and get to know them and uh, cater the needs they have for handling research data. Third, we want to provide a platform for exchange. The idea is, of course, that this peer group of data stewards who have similar responsibilities independent of their subject area, uh, that they get the chance to exchange, to connect to one another, to present good practice solutions, and also to exchange about the challenges that they have with handling research data or organizing research data. The fourth point would be that we want to offer and share training material and courses on research data management within the network. We already had a lot, have a lot of guides and teaching material available. And that is, of course, something that could be used and leveraged by the data stewards to um, provide solutions within their research groups. Another point is that we will continue to inform about research uh, recent developments regarding research data management at ETH Zurich and also in Switzerland. I've mentioned the two funding group programs by the ETH domain and also by Swiss universities. And within those funding programs, there's also actually opportunities for research groups to get research funding to foster open science and open research data in their um, research groups or projects. And finally, we want to continue developing and strengthening offers for support and research data management and data stewardship at ETH Zurich, so that it will be strongly anchored within the institution. So these are the things that we want to achieve with the network. And ideally, we want to collaborate with you. And if you're interested, um, work on this together with you. The next question then is, of course, how do we actually get there? How do we achieve those goals? The first opportunity to get started is our first network event on Monday, 27th of February, where we would like to connect not only the people, but also, but also the topics on data stewardship at ETH Zurich. There's already quite a few people registered for the event, but it's still possible to join if you're interested. Um, I wanted to point out once again the fact that there is actually many people at ETH Zurich who have responsibilities related to data stewardship and research data management. And the idea is really to create a community and learn from one another independent of the um, scientific discipline uh, all those people are, are working at. So there will be the first network event on 27th of February. We also have an MS Teams channel where we have channels for various topics uh, to facilitate the exchange on whether it is data publication or code management. Then there will be future events in the upcoming months where we will identify topics and challenges that are uh, currently um, very important for the people involved. Then we want to, of course, support the exchange among all the network members. We want to match the current challenges in some research groups, perhaps with the expertise of a data steward that is working somewhere else at ETH Zurich. And we want to get going an exchange about current workflows on research data management in different working uh, in different research groups. Um, we will also continue to um, offer additional guides and trainings that will uh, be targeted uh, towards data stewards in particular, and those people who have responsibilities and research data management. So this is, these will be the first steps of how we want to achieve, uh, address the goals in the data stewardship network.
And the final question is, of course, how can you actually get involved? And there are several options here. The first one would be that if you have responsibilities in research data management yourself, whether it is data management, data analysis, or software engineering for projects beyond your individual research project, then feel free to join us if you're interested and write us an email to researchdata at ethz.ch and let us know that you want to join the network. That's also the option if you would like to join the uh, network event on 27th of February. But it's, of course, not necessary to join the event if you don't find the time. You can also just write us an email that you want to be included in future events. The second option is that you perhaps know people in your research group or neighboring research groups who have such responsibilities. Feel free to let them know about the network and also about this coffee lecture. And the slides and the recording will be available in the within the next two days on the coffee lecture website. And then the third option is, of course, you might already have responsibility for hiring people. Maybe you're a PI or you are planning to start a new project. And in case you are thinking about actually hiring a data steward or an open science specialist, then I would recommend you to look out for our interviews with data stewards in the ETH news in the upcoming months and get inspired by the roles they already have. So we will actually shed light on some of the role models that are already available at ETH Zurich and some of the people that are already working in the field of data stewardship so that you can find out more about their responsibilities and tasks. That was it for today. I thank you very much for your attention. And I'm, of course, also available for questions now. Thanks a lot for joining. And we would be happy if you could fill out the very short survey that follows right after.